Um, talk to you about the uh, their their reaction to your your meal. So shall we start with group one to go that way? Yeah. Okay, group one. So. I'll start. Um, I thought the peanut sauce was excellent, really well seasoned and balanced, like acidity and salt and all that. Um, the rice needed a little more seasoning, but overall really good. Thanks. Yay! Yay! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Same, the, the satay was fantastic, and the flavor of the um, contents of the egg, of the cabbage cup. I like how you're innovative with changing the name from roll or leaf to cup because it was actually a very nice presentation as far as that goes. I would have added more um, more color. Um, uh, Thai food is really famous for beautiful colors and shapes and specifically carved vegetables and that kind of thing. So there would be a way to save some of your vegetables when you're preparing and a slice, let's eat just a sliver of mango, a piece of coriander, a sliver of red pepper to, to you know make it jazz up. The flavor was excellent. Uh, on, on the positive, a uh, very original recipe. Um, I thought it was pretty nice color in the plate. You had healthy ingredients. Mm, yeah. The cabbage seemed a bit old to me, tasting and, and a bit thick, but you didn't choose that cabbage, David. <laughs> 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 on the negative side, I, it, it's a hard to handle and serve dish, so at home you would realize that. Um, and I can't say I was crazy about the taste of tofu, but it's not something that I would typically eat, so I don't know how it would compare to other tofu dishes. I'll jump in there, because I, I eat fried tofu as well, and I, I thought it was great. It's really hard to get it nice and crispy on the yeah. inside, and you did a great job. And I thought the same, because I don't eat tofu, but I've had it several times, and you guys did. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I was going to say, the, the, the crispy tofu, that was Charlie, you did a great job there. I was like, I don't like mushy tofu and the crispiness, it was crispy but then it was mushy on the inside, yeah, it so I thought that was perfect. Um, I like the way the peanut sauce was uh, drizzled around, like a crescent moon around, whoever did that, Amanda, good job. Um, mm -hmm. And I would agree with Lizzie, it just maybe for a final touch, maybe just uh, save some of those colors and, and put them on in the dish. But um, I thought you did a good job. Yay. And you worked well as a team. Like, uh, there was, there's, you know, it, it started to gel, you did a good job. Yeah, they had the most people, which is hard yeah. to work with. Yeah. Um, for table two, I wanted to do like a special shout out for being the cleanest table. You guys were like, you were on it and you were constantly just cleaning as you went, so that looked really good. Um, the salsa and the guacamole were both perfectly seasoned. Um, the quesadilla dough could have used most more salt, but I know you didn't make it. <laughs> um, but yeah, really good concentration and teamwork. Good job, good job guys. Woo! And um, I, everything Jennifer said I agree with. Uh, it was also a healthy meal, which was really great. There were so many different nutritional aspects to it that was really special. Um, there was a couple of smudges in the plates and stuff that could have been just been a little paper towel to wipe them off and stuff, but that happens. Um, the presentation was really nice too. and, and um, it's delicious, absolutely delicious. Yay. And again, and for both of you, all yeah, well presented. Yeah, it was a good looking, a good looking plate. Nice color, nice balance. Uh, it did strike me as a bit thin in the plate, but that's probably a function of dividing it among five people. You'd be at home, and it would be fuller. I ate everything. Um, the tortilla was not my favorite element. I thought it was a tad. Thick and dry. That's my only negative. Thank you. Well done. Um, I liked the way you displayed it. It was uh, it wasn't that neat, but uh, it looked rustic, and that's what uh, you know quesadillas are all, all about. Get in there and get messy. So it was like plops of food, and I was like, yes. So that's my style of eating. So I like that. Um, I would have put maybe a kick more lime in there, because 
Mexican foods all the line to me. So, uh, but to your uh, tortillas, they weren't uh, burnt. We, we, uh, you had a little trouble getting the getting them together in the fry pan, but you you came through and you presented each tortilla really nicely. So good job on mm -hmm. doing that, persevering and beautifully cooked. I really enjoyed the guacamole, so I know who to go to when I need uh, for a party. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed the, uh, the whole presentation on the plate. It was delicious. did a really good job at communication like keeping it calm and like being clear and concise with each other um, like this is what I need can you help me with this so that was really great to see um, everything was perfectly seasoned so good job um, yeah same and again the oral presentation was great and the understanding of what you were doing um, and the variety of nutritional aspects was wonderful I love the pita I would have eaten even more I just was <laughs> like so good and the falafel we all know how difficult it is to make falafel from scratch I'm very impressed that you did that and uh, the patouche I thought mine was kind of heavy on onions I would cut back on the onions or even leave them out I could have had a little more salt maybe a little squeeze of lime or lemon or something I could but have been a serving issue because my salad did hardly have any onions so. okay yeah. um, but it was absolutely delicious and beautifully presented I really was impressed with the ethnic diversity that made it exciting, interesting. I, I, I use the word adventurous and unusual choices. Mm -hmm. so with so many all, components. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, very good flavor and excellent pita, mm -hmm. which pita I want you to make at home soon, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Um, I thought it looked like something that you would get in a cafe, the way you presented it, um, just with the, the wrap and then the little bowl of salad. It looked very professional. Yeah. Um, I was impressed you had the less people and uh, you uh, had to work fast and you had to decide who was in charge and who was gonna give the instructions and who was gonna be the followers. That was a bit tricky at the beginning, but then you sorted it out and you really came together as a team. And so, stayed calm. So that was impressive. Um, and the taste was great. Um, the salad maybe needed something in the dressing, just a little something extra, but I'm not quite sure what. But um, I was impressed with your team. Yeah, lemon. Yeah, it might have been, I was hoping for mint, but whatever. The falafel was amazing. Yeah. Leave the shopper. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's any mint in our little community garden that you guys have planted. Uh, there isn't here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah, not okay. high Remember last year, they, all these herbs that were out there were like, yeah. forgot that they were out there. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. Okay. Thank you. Um, good job on enthusiasm. You guys were all like super gung ho. Um, for Oriental, I would say next time focus. There's so many different regions in Asia, and um, from like one city to the next, there's different flavors. So to like choose more specifically and then use flavors to that region. Um, when I cook stir fry, I'll put, add Chinese five spice, which is like a really good. Um, trick to making everything taste like really authentic um, but good job on the dessert um, and just coming through and rolling with the punches good job guys Yay, good job. and I, I like that you did the, the three elements to that that was that was great the, uh, the tea was great and the, and the um, having the dessert and all that was nice the, um, the noodles were a little overcooked and again, I could have done with a little more color in the in the stir fry itself. Um, maybe just a hit of broccoli steamed at the end that was making it brighter, peppers or whatever. Taste was good, um, and the dessert was really good. It was it was very tasty. I could have eaten more, but I was still full by then. Um, and as Jennifer was saying too, the term Oriental is very broad, 
and usually it's now like Chinese cooking, Japanese cooking, Thai cooking. Um, and um, but it was it was really nicely done and good teamwork, great enthusiasm, and again, nice nice touch to have all of the different components of the meal. Right. And healthy. I mean, there was um, lots of protein and all that. I like the fact that you had an overarching theme um, and that the elements belong to the same family to a degree. Um, I did not find your meal that nutritional or healthy. Where, where was the produce? Mm, the little mini corns don't count for me as produce. But maybe I didn't see them. Your main dish, the color was uniformly, was, was not colorful at all. So the eyes, the eye part of the dish, which is the first thing that an eater sees and makes them want to eat, that was a bit lacking. Um, I'll pass it over to Marjorie. Um, I agree with Lizzie, the fact that you guys had three things to think about, that was impressive for me. And the fact that you improvised and frankly your dessert was better than your main meal. And the fact that that came from improvisation shows you're uh, quite a creative team and can handle stress. So good for you there. Um, I agree that the, the main stir fry uh, needed a bit more flavor or, or like Jennifer said, a concentration on deciding <coughs> what flavor you, that might be the recipes or it might be not realizing that the recipe needed you, you just needed to stick with one kind of flavor, but um, and Jack's presentation or Adam's presentation was great. Uh, perfect choice. You really knew who who should do what job. So um, as a team, I thought you worked really well together. So good job. And for covering three different um, parts of a meal, I thought that you you did that very well. Um, I like the taste of the stir fry, and again, that presentation, um, if, if I wasn't made to eat it, I might not because of the presentation of it, but once I tasted it, I, I found that it was quite delicious, so, um, and the improvisation of the dessert was, it was very, very tasty. Thank you.